Hey everyone, today we're going to compare two backpacking stoves from MSR. The MSR Whisperlite Universal and the MSR Dragonfly. Both are popular, versatile stoves that can be used across the globe. It can be hard to decide which backpacking stove to buy, but hopefully by the end of this video you'll have an idea of which one is right for you. If you're new to the channel, my name's Ben, and I'm part of the team here at the Adventure Junkies, where we help people like you choose the right gear to get outdoors. If you want to learn more, go ahead and check out our website at www.theadventurejunkies.com. Now let's talk about what you're really here for, the MSR Whisperlite Universal and the MSR Dragonfly. By the end of this video, if one of these stoves catches your eye, or maybe even both of them, make sure to check out the links in the description below to watch the full video reviews of each stove. Let's start with the MSR Dragonfly. The MSR Dragonfly is a liquid fuel burning stove, and in the United States the liquid fuel you'll find most common is white gas. If you're traveling abroad and you can't find white gas, this stove will also burn unleaded auto fuel, diesel fuel, aviation fuel, and even kerosene. Liquid fuel stoves are slightly more complicated than canister stoves just in that they require a little more maintenance, but in my opinion the positives outweigh the negatives. Now let's check out the Whisperlite Universal. The Whisperlite Universal's key features are in its name. You have Whisper and Universal. This is a very quiet stove, especially compared to the Dragonfly, which is pretty noisy. Then you have Universal. So this is a liquid fuel burning stove. It can burn all of the liquid fuels that the Dragonfly can burn. But by swapping out the fuel adapter and the burner, you can actually turn this uh, stove into an isobutane canister stove. Um, which I think is just a really cool feature. And it's pretty easy to do. All of the parts are included um, to swap the jet and the adapter. And you can actually run the isobutane canister inverted, which really helps in colder temperatures. Liquid fuel stoves do require a little more maintenance just by the nature of burning a liquid fuel. They will suffer from a little bit of carbon buildup. Carbon will build up inside the burners. And what MSR has done on both of these stoves has incorporated what they call a shaker jet or a shaker needle. And the shaker needle is in different places on both of these stoves, but it functions the same. Essentially, after you burn either one of these stoves each time, simply just, I don't know if you can hear that, but shake it upside down and the shaker needle will clear carbon from the burner. And that really helps with uh, preventative maintenance. If you just make sure you do that every time you use the stove, it's a really nice feature. When looking at the weight difference between these two stoves, they're pretty similar, but there is a few ounces worth of difference. Um, the Whisperlite Universal weighs 11.2 ounces or 318 grams. And the MSR Dragonfly weighs in at 14.1 ounces or 401 grams. So roughly three ounces difference there. Now let's take a look at price. Both of these stoves retail for $169.95. So as we compare these stoves, I'm already seeing a lot of similarities. In terms of pack down, both of these stoves are fairly similar. Um, the Whisperlite Universal will pack down a little smaller, but both have pot supports that are attached to the burner unit and they just collapse in and everything you need to hit the trail should fit in the included stuff sacks. So with these stoves being so similar, let's take a look at which stove is best for what. The Whisperlite Universal is by far a quieter stove, so if noise pollution in the backcountry is bothersome for you, the Whisperlite Universal might be a good stove to look at. Um, fuel versatility. Whisperlite Universal being a liquid fuel stove as well as a canister stove, also a huge plus. Um, and on that note, the Whisperlite Universal is better at boiling water. We got better, consistently better boil times across the board with the Whisperlite Universal. So you might be asking yourself, why would I consider the Dragonfly? So the Dragonfly is a more stable stove. I'm not sure if you can see, but these pot supports aren't going anywhere. It also has a wider circumference. You can use up to a 10 inch pot with this stove and it'll still be perfectly stable. My favorite feature about the MSR Dragonfly is the dual fuel adjustment. So you, on liquid fuel stoves, you always adjust the fuel on the fuel pump. However, the Dragonfly has another fuel control right here. And that is perfect for simmering. Um, if you really like to cook in the backcountry beyond boiling water, and don't get me wrong, this stove does boil water, but this stove simmers much, much better than the Whisperlite. And that's due to the dual fuel control. 
Um, so yeah, if you're looking to do cooking beyond just boiling water in the backcountry, the MSR Dragonfly is a really nice choice. So in terms of simmer ability and pot stability, the Dragonfly is definitely the right choice. Um, as far as ease of use, both of these stoves function almost identically, um, with the exception of that if you need to swap out the fuel adapter and burner to convert the Whisperlite Universal to a canister stove, it takes a little finagling. There's a video on MSR's website about how to do it, but overall I did it in probably less than two minutes. Um, so both stoves are relatively easy to use. There is a learning curve when using a liquid fuel stove. It's not quite as simple as just light and turn the burner up, although it's close. So now let's talk fuel consumption. Um, fuel consumption, again, they're almost identical. Uh, you will get an hour and 20 minutes of burn time on full flame um, with 20 ounces of white gas with the Dragonfly. And you will get an hour and 10 minutes on 20 ounces of gas uh, full flame with the Whisper Light. So the Dragonfly does have slightly better um, fuel consumption, but it's pretty close. If you're enjoying this video, please like and share so more people like you can find it. Alright, so as far as our boil tests go, we got interesting results because we like to do a boil test in sheltered conditions and then one in more exposed conditions. So you can get an idea of what it boils at without a wind and what it boils at with a wind. So as I mentioned, the Whisper Light boiled quicker in all of our tests. Interestingly enough, when we had it in sheltered conditions, it took five minutes to bring a half a liter of water to a boil. And then when I had it in windy conditions, it boiled in three minutes and 22 seconds. Whereas the MSR Dragonfly in sheltered conditions boiled water in five and a half minutes. Um, and in windy conditions in about six and a half minutes. And that just goes to show you how variable conditions can affect your boil time. Uh, I think the biggest takeaway here is that if you want to boil water more quickly, the Whisper Light is probably the better choice for you. So just to kind of bring things full circle here, um, both of these stoves are great at different things. They're both really well-made stoves. Um, if I had to buy one, I would probably buy the Dragonfly. I really appreciate the simmer ability. Um, that's really hard to find in backpacking stoves. And for me, I just think that's a really great feature. I also like that it's stable. Um, it's noisy, but I'm not using it for that long, so the noise doesn't really bother me. If I wanted to boil water a little more quickly, the Whisper Light Universal is great. I also just love that you can use different types of fuels with it, uh, isobutane and liquid fuel. That's just a really great option as well. So which stove is right for you? Ask yourself what kind of backcountry meals do you plan to do? Do you want to boil water quickly for dehydrated meals, hot drinks, maybe you need to boil uh, or melt snow for drinking water? Maybe you need a larger stove with more stability um, and simmerability if you're hiking in groups of two plus, or maybe you just want to expand your backcountry culinary skills a little bit, then the Dragonfly is right for you. Um, in terms of which one I would recommend, I, I can't really recommend one stove or the other. They're both really well made. They'll work for international travel. Um, I think it just comes down to how loud do you want your stove and uh, what kind of cooking do you plan to do. So ask yourself those questions and if you want to learn more about either one of these stoves, make sure you check out the links in the description to our full video review, and happy hiking! Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't know what gear to bring hiking, or maybe you've just wasted money on the wrong gear in the past, then you definitely need to get a copy of this book. It's called The Beginner's Guide to Hiking Gear, and we've created it with the total beginner in mind. It'll help you learn what gear you need versus what gear is just nice to have versus what gear you don't need. It covers everything you need to know, 
including how to choose each item and specific product recommendations based on your budget, gender, hiking destination, and more. You can pick it up on Amazon and it's available in paperback and for the Kindle. Check out the link in the description below. Happy hiking!